Right edition, welcome. Happy day, let me tell you something about liberals. Are you ready? Here it comes. Liberals are intellectually deficient. They continue to cost this country a zillion, zillion dollars almost daily. They're a bunch of nut jobs, and they shouldn't be allowed to run a government. Hey, just didn't want to sugarcoat anything. Did you get that? <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, politically right is right and left is wrong. And these guys on the left, they think they can't go broke by continuing to spend other people's money. Guess what? The day will come when they will go broke. And then socialism, of course, goes into communism because socialism is a bad thing. Communism is just basically socialism in a hurry and they're all trying to get their dictatorship, though does fit in there somewhere in the middle because you get all these guys with the big eagles and, and the, you know, the, um, I don't know, uh, their integrity bankrupt. And when you got that and you put it all into the mix, nah, I'm off on a little bit of a tangent, but I think you're with me. Are you? Good man. Let me get on to some right wing news. <laughs> Here's a man from El Paso. The stupid thief file. He wasn't too bright. He's only 17, so maybe in jail for the next next 15 years or so when he comes out in his early 30s he'll be wiser and he'll be a better crook better at his job I'm digressing again too back to this he went to a church churches are for the most part unlocked he stole the safe he took the safe over to a neighbor's place and a backyard put the safe in the backyard and proceeded to break into the safe guess who owned the place the backyard guess who lived there that'll be a policeman he came out with a gun and arrested the kid <laughs> who would have darned thunk it in Wisconsin a masked robber went into a store and the owner of the store was standing beside the till and he said open that up or I will stab you and he was armed with a knife she's 96 years old and she says hey I'm not gonna move I'm 96 I won't get a lot older anyway and I'm definitely not letting a thug like you get my money you move or else and she says I've already said it I'll repeat it if you like but I ain't moving and he moved he ran away she phoned the police they came and arrested him <laughs> she's gonna live happily ever after him not so fast and not so sure in Washington now it's recently been announced and disclosed I guess that they have this huge database of license plate numbers every day they're scanning license plates everywhere and they're putting it into the file and blah, 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 blah. they find out everything there is to find out about the car driver the owner pictures everywhere privacy I don't think there is much anymore I, it's not very good I get the part about national security but, but where does it stop where does it start I mean you do need privacy and we don't have a lot of that anymore it's a little bit spooky for hire here's something the politicians we already know about this because we hired them didn't we but here's a guy looking for a job and he said there's not a lot of work out there so I'm gonna put myself out as a professional liar <laughs> his name is Timothy Green he's a former uh, PI and he says I got this company now out of uh, Minnesota and it's gonna work for me and it does and he calls it Paladin deception services not detective the old cowboy tv show years ago with paladin of course have gun will travel and this guy has got tongue i'm gonna lie will travel just kind of adding some color to it here he says we can replace a supervisor with a fictitious one alter your work history provide you with a positive employment reputation and give you the glowing reference that you need ha, he's a liar a professional one again what's new with this pardon my repetition but he just sounds like a republican doesn't he? Or a Democrat, more so. Watch what I say there. Certainly they lie first, and Republicans, maybe they just fib from time to time. In Canada, the conservative government there, they should be charged for fraud because they're not conservative. I mean, they it's conservative packaging, conservative label, but, but they're liberal in nature. And the present prime minister, Mr. Harper, he has 40 cabinet ministers. Why? He's got ministries that don't make any sense except, you know, they're just there. I guess it makes sense from his perspective because he can give out the ministry ships as rewards. But Pierre Trudeau, who totally destroyed Canada from a, a political perspective, he was a left-wing commie guy. I mean, he just altered the political or the lifestyle landscape of the entire nation. He only had 20 ministers. Here's a guy who says, I'm conservative, not liberal like him, and he has 40 Everything he does is liberal in nature, and again, his label and his packaging isn't. Fraud charges, they sure do come to mind. Apple. Apple recently has been sued for porn addiction. <laughs> Here's a man that says, I watch porn and it's Apple's fault. It's destroying my life, my marriage, and everything is upside down. All because I watch porn. It's kind of like I smoke and I'm going to sue the smoke company and I get drunk and I'm going to sue the bear company. And these things do happen all of the time. I wonder how those people vote. <laughs> do you think it's to the right? I kind of don't think so. In Pennsylvania, here's a bullet that hit a hospital window and a patient, 62 years old, also um, got hit. You know, nobody died and it wasn't... Uh, 
critical or anything, but it happens. Bullets sometimes can travel a far distance. I remember when I was a kid, there was a guy umpiring a ball game. And he fell over dad and everybody assumed he had a heart attack when in fact a hunter's bullet from a long, long distance away, the hunter didn't even know that he had done it. He had already gone home and was having soup and sandwiches and, and <laughs> on his way at least. And this fellow, I shouldn't mock it or make light of it because it's true. I mean, you have to be cautious because don't give us gun owners a bad name. Okay, let me end today with this. Speaking of guns, I recently went into Canadian Tire in Canada and I bought some bullets. And the girl said to me at the till, she said, strip down. So I did, took all my clothes off and she shrieked and the police came and everybody came and it turned out she meant the credit card. Hey, you gotta be a little clearer, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> Y'all come back tomorrow. We're gonna have more for you from the right. See ya.